Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg enough to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Bujo Bantan is back with more warning after a new law was passed under the DRMA. Entertainer 11 can says Miss Kitty Oziman apology. Dancing Rebel responds after getting plastic surgery. And Intense Brother responds to dancehall artist Wasp. The first thing we're going to talk about is Bujo Bantan speaking out, is me? And of course, you know that Bujo Bantan is a very vocal person. Person. So this is not a, like a surprise or anything like that, you see me? But after this new law that was passed, I'm even know if I for call it a new law, but basically the police them have more power now and all of them things. So I'm going to read the article so I get an understanding of all of this and then we can talk about it a little bit, you see me, people? So it says, Bojo Bantan rebukes lawmakers for giving police extraordinary powers to arrest without warning. Dancer legend Bojo Bantan has denounced an announcement made by Jamaica Constabulary Force today that police officers can now immediately arrest persons who are in found to be in breach of the Disaster Risk Management Act without a warning. Bojo posted a copy of the press advisory from the JCF which noted the public is being advised that as a result of the recent amendments of the Disaster Risk Management Act, the police are no longer required to give warning notices before effecting an arrest for breaches under the DRMA and that these persons can be arrested and charged immediately. Bujo Bantan, who has been warning over the last year that Jamaica was becoming a totalitarian state, then berated the lawmakers who supported the amendment to the DRMA, referring to them as he did in February as traitors. All members of parliament who voted for this have declared themselves to be enemies of Jamaican people. Do not chat on with us anymore, he wrote. Aside from the press release, the JCF has also warned on its Instagram page in a public advisory that persons are urged to adhere to the DRMA to avoid prosecution. The DRMA was amended to curtail the spread of the CV-19. Is it my people? So Bojo Bantan feel like said them a traitor. And of course, you know, said this kind of rough still, you know, because we even see where bad boy Trevor, him find himself in a tight spot right about now. You see me? I think our 150,000 him have to go pay or spend um, a certain time in prison. See? I'm going to show you know, what he actually posted. Well, he posted up a video, and obviously, you can see it on the screen right about now. Him lock up in a cell. You understand what I say? And the caption for that, he said, So today I was tried and found guilty on three of the four charges stemming from my 2020 March 23rd pool party. I was fined $150,000 or three months in prison, not disputing the facts of the case. I feel that I committed a breach of the Disaster Risk Management Act. That's the end of that. You understand? Hashtag behind bars. So people, them not play. You understand what I say? So I advise people for those abide by the rules and all them things because... You know, it's not like you can go against it or you're going to end up behind bars, you see me? And we see where within the last few days, I think over 66 people get arrested for keeping, you know, illegal parties and them thing there. So people, they have to know them, though. At the end of the day, we know that we don't miss you know, freedom certain way, going out, partying and all them things. You understand? But there's nothing we can do about it because at the end of the day, they don't have to warn you. I remember say you have a lot of police who love abuse them power and thing, you know. So think, uh, you know, them all say some man who oh, them not really like them none at all. The man them a fling them in and carry them in. But of course, you know, you have one and two who might be lenient and say, yeah, what? Don't make it happen again, you know. You understand what I say, people? So... It's a case where <laughs> you have to just know where you do. You see me? If you want to receive your freedom, then that's up to you. But remember, so once you go to court, they might go charge you. And you, if you don't have the money, then you know it's a straight prison you go go. You see me? But people, leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. Bujo Bantan said, anybody in the House of Parliament who actually voted for this law, they are now traitors. You see me? They not for trade with the Jamaican people. Them. So let me know if you agree with him or not. All right, so no more and talk about intense younger brother that goes by the name of Was. You understand? I think I saw it pronounced Was. And right about now, you know, say a dancehall artist that goes by the name of Wasp, him kind of have a problem with the name because obviously the name them kind of similar. You have Wasp and you have Wasp. So some people might mix them up and all of that. You understand? Now, basically, the two of them, they come on stage the other day. I went last week, Saturday. Or, yeah, Saturday, people. Zane. And basically, 
you know, intense younger brother, <laughs> because if I say was, you know, might not know who I talk about, but intense younger brother, he was asked about the whole name thing, you understand how it come about, and you know, basically, he must say, I'm not really trying to cause no problem between him and the artist certain way, you understand what I say, people, but you know, look like him plan for add anything to the name or for do any form of changes where the sound of the name don't not that similar, you understand what I say, people, so as I said, the two of them they depend on the interview and thing. But I'm going to tell you now what Intense Brother said. And you know, we can talk about it a little bit. Let me know if you feel like him should change his name, people. Zin, because originally Wasp, we know are the Rasta one. Zin, they, they embodied for freestyling and them thing there. So it kind of seem, you know, it kind of look away when you come out with a name we're kind of similar. So you can see why the original Wasp, I mean, never want to say original because, you know, it seemed like this you to have the name long time, but we are talking about who actually known public then. A demo have to get to you, see my people. But anyway, I put up on the screen where I say, where I tell Winford Williams in the interview, and this is an intense younger brother we are talking about. So I say, when I grew up, you know, my mother always tell me, I want like a road yacht. That's why she called me Wasp. Because she say you used to give be a trouble, run up and down, fling stone after people and them thing there. But now cause no problem regarding the name issue. Right now still you know, because enough people know me as was. Remember me Instagram famous before me an artist. So people, basically the man I say from him a little youth him have that name there, you understand? So, I just hope this not really cause a big friction between the two was them, <laughs> even though the name them spell different, you know, but the pronunciation kind of similar. And we as Jamaican just go say wasp, all when it not have a peep on it, we we'll put peep on it, you understand what I say, people? So, I just hope it not really cause too much of a bad vibes, you understand, even though him call himself DM Boss as well, but of course, most people know him as wasp. If you go up on Instagram, that's where him name and all them things, you see my people, so... You know, as I said, I just hope this not too too cause certain friction between the artists them. Because right now it's not really a time when we want them type of thing there, you know, people. You see me? Even though we know say like a lyrical feud and you know, like a confrontation kind of good now and then. But remember, you see the wasp I'm here talk about the one where we know as wasp and our little normal artist, you see me? Even though they get the big break and thing, but very lyrical and versatile. So intense brother would have a forward good third way if him want a you know a clash against him or nothing like that. But I don't think that I go go on. I just the name change kinda of cause problem. And to be honest, you can't blame Wasp for actually feel that way. You understand I'm talking about the original Wasp. You see me, you can't blame him because him depend the scene first. If I did me, I would have probably a cuss and I say, watch your other brother they just come with a name the man and just you know, I mean when you Google Wasp now, you could also say theme name come up in night regardless of different spelling car. You have some people where, you know, them just hear the name was and just automatically spell it W-A-S-P. But when you go up on the song, an intense brother picture, you go see come up, you see it. So, them things that will make artists vex and vent and them things. You see my people. But let me know if you don't feel like intense little brother need to change the name. Or you don't feel like say, just a name that him for just work with it if you want to work with it. You see me? Let me know in the comment section. So, now I want to talk about entertainer one one can. And of course, you know, say, he has been getting a lot of write-up in at the star. Basically, from Miss Kitty come out and say she want to apology. And also, you know, a lawyer, them say, if him don't apologize, him go in a problem and thing, you understand? Now, we see, say, him go so Bob's and actually reach out and get a lawyer, Christopher Townsend. Good lawyer as well, you understand? Now, basically, the man I make it clear, say, him now go apologize none at all, you see me? He man do another interview with the star. And basically say, as a matter of fact, Miss Kitty owe him an apology, people. So the man basically try to turn the tables on her and I make sure you know, she is the one who actually owe him an apology. You understand what I say? So him did an interview, as I say, with the Jamaica star. And I go actually just pick out a part out of it and show no way my face is me. So the man said, I am definitely not apologizing because there is nothing to apologize for. In fact, they owe me an apology. They have defamed me. This letter that has been circulating far and wide, here and abroad and all over the world, portrays me as someone who is dishonest, someone who is a liar, lacks, lacks integrity. There is no gray area around the defamation and there can be no questions. You understand, people? Um, the man said, if I am served with papers, I have to file a defense. But in that case, I will also file a counter suit. It is something I am discussing with my attorneys, you understand? So basically, I'm a plan for counter suit and all of them things there for defamation as well. Because I'm a say, Miss Kitty, them, you know, they make him look like he is a liar. He must stick by everything where he say, you understand? 
why people this is very interesting now the people them from the jamaica star actually reached out to miss kitty's lawyer as well but they could not respond right now because they must forget the go ahead from she for know what is what for tell the people them you understand so i guess we have to wait to see if miss kitty does i go just drop it and leave it alone or she got go through with it you understand but this man look like him really serious and he must stick with everything we must say let me know when you think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about dancing rebel people yes we're talking about dancing rebel from x team spice right about now it seems like she get a designer body you understand and a lot of persons that say why she go back on her word because about maybe about two or three months ago she actually went on instagram live um some people did tell her that she should do her body and all them thing there she made some comments saying that you know, she now go do it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play the video so you can see. And then I'm going to show you what she posted in the caption. I'm now going to show the picture of them a certain way. Because some of them, she kind of know that all them things that you don't know how YouTube stays. See my people? But I'm going to run the clip so you can hear what dancing rebel officer. The chef you got give me, I'm going to say with. Regardless of if I'm going to have, I will say with. Because you now make me put in on breast. And a fake bottle and sick. What the? Yeah, man. So that was the time when basically a lot of persons are tell her to do her body and them thing there. And she decided that she will not be doing it. She'll stick with everything where she blessed with the Zimmer people. But right about now, she changed her mind. And basically, she has her belly did get big. So she took the fat from out her belly and basically put it around the rear part. The Zimmer people. So anyway, she said. I was getting a lot of belly fat, so I got rid of it, and I am happy I did. And she tagged the people them. I guess I them who do the surgery and thing. And she said, P.S. Don't come for me. I know what I said. Now bye. You see my people. So she does make it clear. Say yes. She know she go back on her word and thing. But at the end of the day, she love her new body and all of them thing there. I'm actually think it look nice still, you know, people. Now, say me I support the bag of surgery and them thing there, you know. You know, because we like natural females and thing, but you have to admit say it look good and all them thing there, you see it? But let me know when you think about Dancing Rebel Designer Body. And I just the other day, we see where um, DHQ Nikisha, which is Marvin the Beast, ex-woman, she unveiled her new designer body. So, seem like I eat around the thing right about now, you see it? Everybody a designer up. <laughs> But anyway, people, leave in the comments and let me know where anything about this. And also, Dancehall Entertainer Ritical went to gun court yesterday for finding out his fate. You understand? I don't know that he's out and I think I want $1 million bail. So as I say, he went to court yesterday. We don't really know the outcome yet. So we we'll wait upon that. You understand? Obviously, you know, say I fight the case because according to Ritical, he never know said this trap where him half upon him. It was a real strap. You see me? I think it was a props because I guess it was to do a music video or them did I go shoot a music video or something. But I don't know still. <laughs> Well, anyway, people, let me know when you think about this. And also, I'm going to leave you know, with an Instagram live with Dancehall Queen Spice talking to the fans them about her new song. I think uh, tomorrow they're going to release it. That's with her, Sean Paul, and Shaggy, the three S them, you see me? And if you go up on her Instagram page, you realize that she have up a whole heap of things, like a whole heap of posts where just mark SSS. So I'm going to leave you know, with that live. But before I do that, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, Mix Up Time 4, and you can follow me on um, Facebook as well. You see my people, bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out. But I'm going to put a link in my bio, and I want you guys to stream this song. Um, it's a historic moment for me, so let me just put fun and joke aside and go down in this. This is a very historic moment for me, because for me, like all me, for of a song with these legends for the writing of the middle with two legends it feels good and i have to talk about it so fun and joke aside me have to express myself before the song even come out before the song even release me have to relate with my best to them and make them know what i want because it's an overwhelming feeling and i feel good and i you know i mean me just feel the love already without the song even come home. I just have confidence in another song, yeah. That song, yeah, make with us ready for go on with myself, and I feel good. Um, the SSS meaning to it is Spice, Sean Paul, and Shaggy. All right? Let me say it again, if you never hear. Spice, Shaggy, and Sean Paul. S S S 
SSS means Spice, Shaggy, and Sean Paul. Right there, so. So, for all of the people that are going to the garden, I'm going to pick the flowers them. I'm going to the garden, I'm going to pick the flowers them to me and throw it for me. Because for me, little old me, little, little, being a Spice, I'm old bread and I used to be barefoot and so. Yeah. For me to get these two legends together on one song, on one track, let's talk about it. Because I'm not forgive my flowers, you know, because I'll never get this yet. This is a first in history. This is a historic moment. Very iconic. Sometimes we don't celebrate ourselves, but now is the time for us to celebrate ourselves because oftentimes when we're doing international records, we try to go outside of the genre. Now I'm telling you that we have these two big giants. Yeah. When we talk about big giants, but we'll go down in it because at the end of the day, the most streamed, the most selling, top selling artists reggae artists bob marley sean paul shaggy top three for years not never change it so we have to celebrate them we have to give them them flowers yeah so if i can get the two of them to come together and collab on one song on a go in at the garden on a go in at the garden go pick up the flowers them on a go in at the garden and throw the flowers them because i got this done for you guys you've never had it before You've never had a collaboration like this with the two great big legend them together on one song. All right? So we're going in at the garden, go pick the flowers them. Lick all spice, barefoot spice, we never used to have no shoes and no clothes. Going at the garden and let me see the flowers them. Thank you. Official Sheen, thank you. Cool it, that Alicia. Thank you so much. Yeah, Cookie Monster, thank you so much. Who's that? Zazarlene, thank you. Mm -hmm. Cookie Wilwa, that one they got too fast. Kem Kem, thank you so much. Julia Baby728, thank you. Brittany9100, thank you for the flowers. TC Rick, RT Rick, thank you so much. Somebody say, more. How that Maurice, thank you so much. Right there, so team blast, big up yourself, my G. Cause I want thing with you, you never switch, you never sell out. Team blast, many people them know so you call me down right you and tell me so you miss me every day. Team blast, make sure so when I reach back at Jamaica, you have a local Aki and selfish breakfast and wait for me, team blast. Team blast, never say my love it like life itself. Team blast, never say when I'm there, Jamaica, I cannot live without you, Adrian. Adrian, remember say run left me in a gas station and make the peep the, the car nearly boom up with me. Adrian, Adrian, remember you tell me say you love me to death and when the guests are run out of the car, you run out of the car and left me in the car and nearly for burn up in the car, Adrian. But my love is the same way. But thank you guys for the flowers. The SSS is Sean Paul Spice and Shaggy. Big song is coming. The name of the song is called Go Down There. So let me talk about the name of the song. Go Down There name. And at the end of the day, I know some of my smutty. Anything on the one go down there, go do on go down there, go do because me know so no here go down there. I wanna feel like so when go down there, wanna go down there, go do so anything on the one go down there, go do on go down there, go do it. But when me wine and go down there, me know when me go down there, go do so anything you want go down there, go do you can go and go do what you want to down there. Where do I go down there? 